Today we're going to talk about Dollarama. Right? Before anyone gets off in a snit about Dollarama, I love my Dollarama. Absolutely loves it. I love the people that were working there. I love going there. I go there several times a week. I buy lots of stuff there. Like I see, I buy all my cards there and my gift bags when I'm not reusing the ones that I got when before they come too wrinkly or all with holes in it and stuff like that. People stick stickers on them, drives me nuts because then you can't reuse them. But anyway, but I digress. I buy lots of stuff at Dollarama. Right now I'm right down on the Warhead Freezies. Yeah, I love them. They're like um, Warhead brand freezies. Yeah, and every sour, he puts them up in the freezer, right? It's right good, like in the like, hot summer day, right? So I'm right down on him now, and I go there quite often. Absolutely loves it. But what drives me nuts is I remember is when everything at Dollarama was a dollar, right? I lived in, in um. I lived in, in Ontario years ago, and it was before we had Dollaramas here in Grand Falls. And, um, mother come. She'd never been in Dollarama before. And it was just like, Ooh, like the heavens opened up when she walked in there. She couldn't believe it. Right? She, like, she kept picking everything up and going, how much is this? I'm like, a dollar. How much is this? A dollar. Teresa, look at this, how much? A dollar, mother. Everything is a dollar. And if it's not a dollar, it's two for a dollar or four for a dollar, but there's nothing more than a dollar. Right? But now it's not like that. Now it's like some stuff is two dollars and three dollars. And like you might think you're getting a good deal, but you gotta really watch it, right? Cause you might look at, say, oh my, look, the tin foil's only two dollars. But you look at the size of it and compare it to what you're gonna get somewhere else, my dear. You, you'd be surprised. You're probably paying more for it. There. Right? Just saying, that they're tricky like that, so you gotta watch out. But, sometimes there is good deals. And sometimes I find cool gifts there and stuff like that, and sometimes I put, buy stuff, puts it in the house, and people are like, my, that's so nice, where'd you get that? And I'm like, oh, Dollarama, right? I'm excited to tell people that I got a good deal on something. And, um, but, another pet peeve I got about Dollarama is when you go in and you buy a card, and then you're behind someone in the checkout that got $265 worth of groceries. <coughs> well, there's lots I could say about that, right? Like, it concerns me. I don't know. I'm not above groceries at Dollar at my, Well, I don't know. I don't know if I am, because I can't, I honestly can't say I ever bought groceries. Besides candy, I never ever bought food at Dollar at my, right? But, like, I just find that the labels are right weird, and I can't even read half of them, and I don't, I don't know, it just creeps me out. I like food that, like, looks like food. Like, chicken that is, like, chicken. And, um, I like, like, fruit and vegetables and stuff. Like, I looked at what was in her cart, right, and she had $265 worth of groceries, and none of it I recognized. Right? None of it. Except for, no, there were some cans of farmers and farmers meatballs in there. I saw that. I was like, oh, okay, she got it going on there. She probably getting a good deal there. I don't know how much there. But, you know, she, she did get them. But other than that, there was, she had a box of chicken. Like, how do you put chicken in a box? I don't know. I, like, I'm, uh, I can't understand that, right? And it kind of creeped me out. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'd even try chicken in a box, but, you know, whatever, to each his own. She had a few boxes of it there, so she must have had it before and liked it, right? But, like, I, she spent $265 for a cart full of groceries, and I had a cart full of groceries over to another store, and mine was real food, and mine only come to 190 right? So, I don't know. And I think one thing they could probably do is put, like, an express chicken. So if you only got one pair of underwear or, like, just one box of Warheads or one card, you'd get checked out there. Like, I saw, I never ever bought underwear at Dollarama, right? But I saw this lady the other day. She had one pair of underwear in her hands at chicken. And I wondered, right, like, you know, what happened? But, like, you know, I didn't ask her or nothing, but I, you know, I was a little curious as to why you would go in Dollarama just buy one pair of underwear. Right? She must have had an accident or something. No. But, anyway, I take
watching some stuff like that. And that was weird. But anyway, so I uh, basically, Dalarena loves ya. Absolutely loves ya. But get an express check out. Yep. Alright. If you're over Dalarena day, say Teresa said hello. See ya.